Chris Legree says, Hi, Dutch and James. For a few years now, I've been really getting into watching the Territories. My favourites being 80s Jim Cornette, uh, Jim Cornette, Jim Crockett promotions, excuse me, and Mid-South Wrestling. I've been watching some Central States wrestling as I'm a big fan of Harley Race. I have a question about another wrestler that was a mainstay there. I've been watching Bulldog Bob Brown and wondering how in the heck did this guy become a wrestling star? I tried watching some of his matches and they stunk. I tried watching his promos and they stunk. He looks like a cross between a walking dumpling and Officer Bar Brady from South Park. Maybe I'm missing something that I don't understand. He makes Jimmy Valiant look like Luthez in comparison. I hate to spe- speak ill will of the deceased, but to me, he just isn't that good. What is your opinion of Bulldog Bob Brown and Dutch? I'm glad you are recovering from your hospital stay. Well, I am too. Uh, what's this guy's name? Chris Legree. Mr. Legree, I agree with you 100%. Bob Brown went there, and I think he became friends with Bob Geigel, the promoter, because he's he was the type of person that the wrestlers always called the office stooge. Anything that happened in the territory, uh, the boss, uh, he, he would know. Because Bob Brown would tell him he was awful. He was an awful interview. He was an awful wrestler. He wasn't entertaining. He wasn't funny. And he did look like a little, uh, just a, a chunky little, I don't, I don't know, some doll that you could come up with. But he, he had no talent at all. And I agree. And But he stayed there. For years and years and years. I don't really know Bob Brown going anywhere else except the, the Central States Territory. I don't know if he went to, I know he never went to Georgia or Florida or Mid Atlantic. Uh, Mid Atlantic. I don't think he went to Mid South because those guys, they wouldn't use him. And if he went, it was only for a short time. I think he may have gone to like the AWA. I've seen one match with him, and he it was may, against Giant he, Baba. It was like one giant in joke to put two of yeah. them. <laughs> he may have went there on a big show to put Baba over. So, but and the, his co-workers, they didn't much like him. He would try to help them with matches, and people wouldn't even listen to him. They go do do what they want to do, and. And but I never had many, much dealings with him, so but he wasn't very good. I agree with you. I don't even know how he got in the business. I don't know how he stayed in the business. He's got I guess he was just around all the time. What's that Jim uh, Jim Carrey film where he's the police officer and then he's got like a split personality? Me, myself, and I. He's got the same haircut as Jim Carrey in that, if you've ever seen it. You know, like the I police didn't... officer's wedge where it's just like a complete square. Yeah. Yeah, he's, anyway. Uh, Stampede Wrestling, he was <laughs> in uh, Kansas. What the heck is that place? Canada. He seems to disappear to a bit here and there. Missouri. I think he was Canadian. Uh, St. Louis. Uh, he just got booked on St. Louis. Got all, uh, he would go over there because... They were the closest territory to St. Louis, and they would just send their wrestlers over. I don't know why any Memphis wrestlers didn't go there. It was an it's, it's NWA a, stronghold, wasn't it? So Memphis wasn't an NWA territory. Yeah, but it, Memphis wasn't anything after a while. They just was on their own separate territory. There were a bunch of outlaws, a bunch of rebels there. 